Hey folks, Brad with Brad and Hall back with you on this beautiful sunny May Day. I'm um, staying in front of this here uh, Holiday Rambler 2003 Ambassador Diesel that we're getting ready to do a real extensive job. We're doing all kinds of stuff on this coach, so I just kind of wanted to give you the before and after view here. So let me take you inside. We've got a couple more back here waiting for all kinds of goodies furniture, shades, valances, flooring. Got a couple in the shop. We're doing some stuff too. But let me take you inside. There's the old sofas. You know, they're 14 years old. It's ultra leather, but it got a little worn on the front. Usually you don't see ultra leather this old like this, but I think they had a dog that might have done a little bit of that too, but it still held up pretty good. But let me show you what we're going to do. Alrighty. So this is the before. The guys have already started taking down the valances because one of the first things we're doing is uh, we're going to measure these using the old clips there on the wall and build some nice cherry wood valances to replace all these fabric valances. We still got one up there. So that's coming down. That's gone. Going to replace with a cherry valance. Got a couple villa sofas going in here. We got a villa sofa here. Got a villa sofa going over in that slide right there. Uh, up here we got a couple flex steel captain's chairs. We're going to replace these. They're still pretty good shape. They're actually vinyl with uh, ultra leather. Actually, this is Optima leather, not ultra leather. Yeah, it's a real, real close knockoff. But uh, that's probably what was peeling. So anyway, what we're doing over here, all new flooring job up front here. All these shades are coming down. We're putting up uh, some auto motion shades and some custom valance kit that we're going to build in our wood shop. Power visors are coming out of here, and then also. This TV cabinet's kind of funky shaped. They've already converted it to a flat screen. That's going to have to be cut down so the shade can go across. Because the shade's going to have to go across about here. And then our valance board will go across the front. So that's what we're doing up here. Take you back here. On the dinette, we're putting in a, a new Corian table. This is going to replace. We just got all our notes for the Corian guy, what we're doing here. The dinette, we might be recovering that. That's still up in the air. Might do that at a later date. They like the storage. And it's still in pretty good shape. Got all new floor going on here. We're doing Alterna light gray Mesa stone tile. Front to back. I think we're doing a 12 by 24 inch half tile offset. It's going to look real nice. We've got new carpet going into the slides. These are, like I said, all getting new valances. We're also putting all new automotion roller shades in all these windows here. Over here, we're doing something really extensive. We're actually replacing the countertop. Got an all new Corian countertop. We're doing Sorel, which I've got the sample up here. I'll show you this. This is colored called Sorel by Corian, and this is going to be the countertop. So, doing that, we're getting rid of this stove top. We're going to fill this in, put a fake drawer front on here to finish it. The new countertop is going to go all the way across here. We've got a little uh, dual burner gas stove that goes in here with a cover. That's going to be in there. We're actually doing a Corian sink. So that's all going to get replaced with Corian. Using the same faucets. I'm going to replace this little piece down here. Take you back here. Oh, actually, we're going to put, we're taking out the uh, Norcold fridge. We're going to put a Samsung in there. Uh, we're going to do a little work up here on this skylight. Let me get back so you can see it. Taking that shade out, we're going to put some sliding covers in there, and we're going to put some LED puck lights in the end, get rid of those fluorescent and with the translucent plastic stuff on there. So it'll be setting a nice wood panel. Customer made these himself, and he also made these himself down there, those little puck light assemblies. So that's kind of nice. We're going to do something similar to that. That's what's going to go up in uh, this part here to replace all this. And then back here... Oh... In here, oops, let me get the lights on. Okay, we're going to place that countertop with a Sorel Corian, Sorel Corian bowl. I think we're going to take out this uh, wallpaper trim stuff here. This floor is laminate. This is all getting replaced with Alterna tile. It's a limestone composite tile. Flexible, won't crack. Back here, like you see, the TV's already been done. Customer did that himself, did a nice job. He's already updated to all the puck lights to the LED, ITC LED lights. 
We've got new valances and shades going in these windows and also in this window. We're also putting a new uh, faucet in both of the sinks. In the back bathroom here. This countertop's going to get changed. We're going a little higher backsplash. We're going to do a little radius corner here just to update it, make it look a little more, a little more modern. And it'll be single tone. It won't be a two tone like this. That valance is getting replaced. We're putting a uh, automotion roller shade up there. And I think that's about it. Hi. But this is an exciting one. We got a lot of really cool stuff going on here. You know, we'll have tile in the bathroom. Some tile. I think we're doing tile in the bedroom. Maybe carpet. I have to look at the sheet. And that carpet back there on the slide will get replaced too. So I think that's it. The big thing is the countertops and the flooring and all the new furniture and shades and valances. But that should be about it. I think we got to rehang this mirror too. I think it's... Yeah, it's kind of slid a little bit. It's a little out of kilter there, so we're going to do that too. And then we're doing a Corian backsplash on the back here too. Get a new shade and a valance going up there. We've already taken those down on the kitchen window. So that's it. This is going to be replaced in Corian, I think. So we will keep you posted. We're going to have her for probably about five weeks. Got a whole lot going on, so I think we're putting some stainless down here and some LED lights in the step well, some strip lights. We get done, maybe a new radio. We're still working on that part. But uh, when we get done, it should look really sharp. So stay tuned. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Once again, thanks for stopping by Braden Hall. Hey folks, Brad with Braden Hall back with you again. Hey, I'm standing behind this 2005 Holiday Rambler Ambassador that we just did a total major renovation on. Everything's been replaced just about. And I want to take you inside, but uh, first I wanted to show you this really cool mural they had put on the back here up at Mike's Painting. They actually had the front and the rear caps repainted and had some, the old diamond shield was all nasty. They took that off, put some new diamond shield on so it's looking really good. But I wanted to show you this uh, Screaming War Eagle, whatever you want to call it, looks really awesome. And uh, so let me take you inside and show you what it looks like in the coach. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go down here they're here just getting ready to pick it up so I'll show you the front you can see they've got the new diamond shield right there put on they repainted the front looks really nice all nice and shiny so let me take you inside and show you what it looks like in here alrighty so here you go first thing we did we actually did some stainless steel on the steps. Came out pretty sharp. We got some new rubber treads in here. Went with a gray rubber coin here. Oops. Let's grab a carpet there. Let me take you inside. Okay. So, first of all, we've got some uh, Flex Steel 554 Captain's Chairs in the front. We did a couple villa sofas. We've got one right here. This one's actually a hide -a bed It's got an air mattress in it. This is the flagship style from Villa. Over here, this is, uh, we did a new Corian table for the dinette and trim piece, a new cherry leg. And we had the dinette recovered by our local upholstery lady. Did a real nice job. Just that was the actual original Holiday Rambler unit. We just completely had it recovered. We had some new foam put in the uh, in the cushions. A couple other things we did is we actually did uh, we straightened out that mirror. It was hanging crooked, so we had to trim it out a little bit in the corner to push it out. Got that done. We did a brand new Samsung residential refrigerator. Let's see that came out really nice. I got my new DJI Osmo gimbal here. It's a three-axis gimbal, so my picture doesn't look all shaky. I'm still getting used to the directions on here, so let me take you back here once real quick. Okay. Oops. All right, another thing we did, we put all new cherry valances in. Those used to be fabric. We made those in our wood shop. Put some new Automotion shades in there. I think that's the Savannah or that's the Alaska fabric. Came out really sharp. 
Here's the new Alterna Reserve tile that we put down. The light gray smoke on it, grout on it. And we redid this in here. We covered the engine cover. And we put a new valance with a new shade up here. Let's see, this is one of the Automotion Slow Rise shades. Back here, we didn't do a screen, we just did the privacy nighttime shade. There's my DJI Osmo. Check that thing out. Is that cool? Pretty cool. Anyway. Did a new sink. This is a Corian. Uh, this is a color called Sorel. It's been real popular. We got a new faucet in there. We changed the outlet to black. It was the old almond, I think, and just kind of looked outdated. Put a new sink in there. It's a Corian bowl sink. New Kohler faucet came out really sharp. Did a little custom uh, rug here for the front of the toilet. It's all trimmed out in cherry. All that shoe molding is all cherry shoe molding. He had already redone his TV, so this was already there. We didn't do anything with that. Let me take you up and show you a couple more things that came out really nice looking. This is our little fridge lock that we make for these fridges. I've seen all kinds of contraptions, but somebody actually showed us this one. Slide it over, open it up, pull it out, and that's, that's it right there. Just that little piece right there, so it just goes back in here. Slide it over, it's got some anti-skid rubber in there so it won't move. Slide it over. Just some high density polyethylene. There you go, right there, so it won't scratch it. And that keeps it locked. She won't come open like that. So let me show you the other thing we did. It's really cool. Oh yeah, we did a new a uh, new villa couch over here. This is actually a jackknife. It's got a drawer underneath it. Let me show you how this drawer works. Reach down here, there's a little hidden latch. Pull that out. There's your villa drawer. And I'll make a little scissor couch for kids. Another new valance with uh, new shades in there. All right, here's the big project. All new countertops. This is the Corian Sorel. Did a Sorel Corian uh, backsplash. All the way around here. I already had this faucet, we just reutilized it and came up with a new sink. There's the sink. I actually did a Corian sink here. Black strainer, that looks really sharp. And we did a little flip up table here, they had that already, but redid that. And we did a new balance back here, and there's the shade back there. And then we also redid this skylight. This actually had some fluorescence up here. And we actually had these little, this is the original here. We made a new panel in here and put these uh, LED lights in here. Some ITC LED lights. And we made this panel, this is new. So they can get the skylight when they want it, but when they don't want it, they can find clothes and they got privacy. And then we did these switches too. The switches used to be down low, they were white, almond. We actually upgraded them to black. That's the switch for the light. So you can see what we did there. We also did the Receptacles used to be up and down. We moved them up higher and we moved them horizontal and replaced them with black ones. Those came out really sharp. And lastly, I'll just show you the, got all new valances, all new auto motion shades over here in these, uh, in the slide out over here. We got some new carpet in the slide out. Those white things, those are the slide out slickers that we make that we put underneath the rollers or underneath the slide when it comes in so it doesn't scratch the new floor. But that's it.
Oh, we also did new valances all. This is the new Flex Steel Captain's chairs. We did new valances and shades all the way across here. So this is original. These we made. Those are all new to cover up the rollers. Being an older coach, we couldn't mount the shade back as far as we want, so we can't get total privacy in the corners. Just because of the nature of this cabinet up underneath here and the way this cabinet is set up, it goes so far forward. It's kind of offset, as you can see there. So there's not much we can do with that unless you redo the whole cabinet up there, and that would just be, we wouldn't have any room left for the electronics. And we cut the TV inch, TV box four inches shorter and mounted that high, a little bit higher to get rid of the head knocker. And that's our last shades. We've got a couple shades over the door. And there's our beautiful flex steel captain's chairs. But that's it, folks. I'll take you one more little scan through here. One more look. Oops, sorry. Like I said, I'm still getting used to this thing. I just got it yesterday. So that's it, folks. If we can do anything like this for you here at Braddon Hall, please give us a call. And uh, we'd love to talk to you about to upgrading your coach. Once again, thanks for, thanks for stopping by Braddon Hall.